September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Everybody, and welcome back to Create Ball, where I am playing a game called Faith. This is a game that I've wanted to play for like a few months, but every time that I've tried doing it in the past, um, I ran into like technical problems. Uh, but I'm actually gonna play it now. Um, yeah, let's do a new game. Basically, all I know about this is that I play as a pastor that is doing an exorcism on some person that is possessed by a demon or whatever and that it ha has an Atari style so yeah let's see what's going on can I oh space bar. oh jeez 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 <laughs> okay so yeah space bar saves me from dying to the spider monkey of death I don't know if it's supposed to be flashing like that, but if it is, that's very ominous. And if it's not, then that's a very noticeable glitch. Oh, jeez. What are you? You're invited. Uh, come celebrate Nate and Jason's. Come and celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Uh, Saturday, May third, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions: Turn right. At 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Uh, so press the A. So press A button exit. That was space. Whoa! It's locked. Okay, good, it's locked. What about this one? Okay. Apparently the, the cross on the grave wasn't enough. I guess. Okay, this is a lot. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected uh, registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty, uh, has had difficulty identifying uh, who was buried there. The the inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of the Connecticut Historical Society. Uh, sorry if the music's too loud, also. Maybe that's just on my end, I'm not sure. Get out of here, dear. Um, I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Is this just like an endless forest or something, and I gotta like... I don't know if the, how far this forest goes. Oh, I have to be facing it. More days. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Oh look. What are you? Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's a good I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. 
Uh, Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. What did Amy do? She's doing, like, volunteer work? That means it's like she probably... She presumably committed, like, some sort of crime. Right? I mean, I guess she could just be a volunteer, but, like, if she's also... Causing other people to look at her um, family members, I'm assuming, with ugly looks. I'm assuming she did a crime. Maybe it has something to do with this disembodied animal head in the middle of a what looks to be ceremonious stone circle. Maybe it has something to do with that. Hey, Oscar hey guys, Chaos Reigns, did you did you catch that? Um, so, then I have to, like, just cut all those parts out. But, like, oh, dude, I murdered the deer. Oh. Spider Monkey Boy just murdered the deer. Man, this guy is just, are there multiple Spider Monkeys, or are they just, or is he just, like, everywhere at once? Okay. And Yume Nikki is. It's a, oh wait, look, it worked. But if you guys don't know what Yume Nikki is, it's a game with a lot of looping screens. So you got to do that a lot. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Metal Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just like, trees jut out in a in the Middle of a gra in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred, Father Allred seemed to know where, where where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Um, in the headlights, I saw an old shed off the right of the path. Father Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the of the right that may seem harsh to lay to lay to the lay person. Okay, so Oh, there's the key. Oh jeez. The spider monkey's out and about. I gotta get ready. Oh, <laughs> Damn! <sighs> Damn, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have to get ready. I wasn't expecting the spider monkey to jump out of me. Until... After I went back outside, so when it comes in, I'm just like desperately um, flailing for the, the the space bar. Accidentally hit alt. It was a bad deal. Um, okay, I gotta find the house again. Okay, good. Okay, so whenever the deer is on the screen, the spider monkey goes for the goes for the deer instead of going for me. That's good to know. Hey look! Hey look at these bones! Look at these bones I just found! Look at that! I just found- Hey guys, I just found a bunch of bones on the ground! Isn't that cool? Bob, the kids and I missed you, miss you more and more, uh, more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy, Amy keeps asking when she is going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote, um, a coyote problem because when I went out, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was pretty gruesome. It was a pretty gruesome sight. All this, 
All this just a, all this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Uh, hey, hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, guess what? Uh, the twins? They just decided to rub dead deer bits all over their hands. Anyway, can't wait to see you next time. Bye! Okay, here's the shed. Okay, I'm ready this time. I'm ready, 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 I'm ready. Whew! I got it. Okay, now let's find the house. Which of course is much easier said than done. <sighs> let's do it. <laughs> Get out of here, white tail. Whoa, that was uh that was a purple lady. Okay. What do you say? Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. Um, there was a there was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in a ver was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. <laughs> 